this video, we're going to learn how to take a linear equation, find the slope and y-intercept, and use both to graph the equation of a straight line. Suppose we're given the following equation. 5x plus 3y equals 18. In order to write an equation in slope-intercept form, we're trying to rewrite it so that it's represented as y equals mx plus b, where m is our slope and b is our y-intercept. In order to take our given equation and write it in slope-intercept form, Essentially, what we need to do is solve the equation for y. So let's do that. We have 5x plus 3y equals 18. Since I'm solving for y, I'll begin by subtracting 5x from both sides. Now I have 3y equals negative 5x plus 18. Now, y isn't isolated quite yet. It still has a coefficient of 3. I'll divide 3 from both sides of the equation. When I do this, I need to make sure that I'm dividing 3 across every term. Now, my equation reads y equals negative 5 thirds x plus 6. So let's take this equation and use it to graph a line. The way we need to start is to find our y-intercept. Well, if we look at the equation y equals mx plus b, b is our y-intercept, we see that in our equation, 6 is in the position where the y-intercept is. The y-intercept occurs at some value of y where x is equal to 0. When x equals 0, y equals 6. So I'll plot my first point, 0, 6. So if I begin at the origin, 0, 0, and move up 6 units, I'll plot my point right here. Next, I'm going to use my slope negative 5 thirds. We know this because it corresponds to m in our equation y equals mx plus b. And I'm going to consider the definition of slope, or one definition of slope, which is to say m equals rise over run. Now, because we have a negative slope, negative 5 thirds, although the definition of slope is m equals rise over run, the negative 5 tells us that we need to move down 5 units. The run tells us that we need to move 3 units. So I'll be moving 5 units down and 3 to the right. I'll start at my y-intercept down, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and write 3, 1, 2, 3. That will give me a coordinate pair where x equals 3 and y equals 1. Now if we like, we can create another coordinate pair, just so we have three points on which to graph our line. Again, we're going to go down 5 units, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 down, and write 3. This set of coordinates is at 6, negative 4. From here, we'll connect our line. So this is the line which corresponds to the equation 5x plus 3y equals 18. That's it for this example. 
and I hope you enjoyed the video.